We're going to look at doing green screen or composite images using paint.net. First of all we need to open the program paint.net and then we'll go to the open icon in the top left and we're going to open all the pictures that we're going to work with. And we can do that by dragging a box around them and clicking on the open button. You can see that they go to the top of the screen there and we can just switch between them a bit like on the, the tabs in Chrome. Uh, now that we've got that open, we go to Effects and Photo and then Chroma Key. The default settings uh, should be fine. If you're using a green screen, you can leave it as it is at the bottom. Uh, we'll move it to the side. It might be that you need to fiddle around with some of the sliders to make it work properly, but normally it's okay like this. Then we need to change the tool to the Select tool. Select the whole image and then we'll go to Edit and copy. Now we're going to click on one of the other images, one of the background images that we want to work on. We'll go to edit again and we want to do paste into a new layer and that means that it can go on top of the image. And then we can move it anywhere around we want, uh, adjust the size to make it fit with the perspective. And then we've got a, a composite image and we'll just do that again on another image exactly the same way we'll go to edit paste into a new layer and we can position and resize it as we need to once we've done that we need to save the work and we'll save it as a different name so we're not overwriting the base images that we used so we can do it again later if we want to the second one we'll give it another name and press save and we're all done